What's up everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today's project is going to be with the third gen 2002 Limited 4Runner and uh, what we're going to be doing is changing the front diff fluid, the rear diff fluid, as well as the transfer case fluid. I have my products lined here and I'll put them in the description as always. Appreciate you guys that support me by using the links. We've got a creeper, a 12 millimeter on a drill, a breaker bar, a torque wrench, a couple gloves, We've got a shallow and a long 24 millimeter socket. I don't know if either one of those is absolutely required. You can probably get it done with what you have. We've got a small hand pump so that we can easily get the fluid in. A drain bucket, PB blaster. Go ahead and PB blast your fill and drain holes at least 20 minutes before. Typically overnight is recommended, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Um, we've got a red line 7590 oil that I'm going to use in the front and the rear diffs. And then I'm going to be using the Royal Purple Synchro Max over there to the left on the transfer case since it is uh, matched up pretty closely to the Toyota differential oil. I've got a little pack of gaskets there, and that's pretty much it, guys. We do have a 10 millimeter Allen, if I forgot to say it, that's going to be needed for the front diff. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is take the Forerunner on a little 10 minute drive to get the fluids warmed up so they drain easier and uh, kind of stir some of that dirt up. Welcome to BT Willis Garage. For those of you wondering why the next video wasn't the fifth gen's transfer case and front differential, it's because my wife had a hair appointment and just stole that truck. So we're going to pick up on this one, and I promise you guys that one's coming soon. So we've got the Forerunner warmed up and we want to get it on as even ground as possible. So I've got it on a pretty flat surface here. I've already moved the drain bucket underneath and uh, what I've decided to do is to break this up into three series. We're going to do the rear differential first, the transfer case next, and then the front differential last. I'm trying to keep these videos five minutes or so. So for the rear diff, all that we need is these two crush washers that look like little rings. They're not flat. They have a little crush piece on them and uh, torque wrench breaker bar and our 24 millimeter long or shallow it doesn't matter for the rear i'm not going to remove the rear uh excuse me the spare tire because we don't have to but you can if you think it makes your life easier so you also want a rag to get all those metal flakes off of your drain bolt let's go ahead and get started as mentioned i did pb blast those so be sure to do the same at least 20 minutes before so we're underneath the truck at the rear diff the emergency brake line kind of got in the way of that wide socket, so I'm going to try to get it off using this adapter on this thin socket without stripping it. Let's see how this works. Hopefully I don't break the e-brake line. Looks like that cracked it loose. I'm going to move my drain bucket right underneath just in case it's overfilled. We take out the fill bolt first because if we can't get it out and we take the drain bolt out, then we're screwed. Looks like it's right at the line and the fill bolt is the one that's hollow. The uh, drain bolt is going to have a magnet on the bottom. We'll move to it next since we got the fill bolt off and position our pan underneath both because it looks like the fill does want to leak a little bit, which is fine. That means it's right where it needed to be. Now we're down at the drain bolt. It's still that 24 millimeter. We're gonna go left. Lefty Lucy is what many of you have been taught. Me as well. And it remains true on just about everything we work on. Let's spin this drain bolt off. Try not to get this down in your glove because differential fluid stinks. There we go. Woo! I'm glad we changed this. I'll show you why in a second whenever I show you this this drain bolt, but it's kicking a little bit. Let's reposition that. All right, we'll let that drain all the way and I'm gonna pump some fresh fluid through. This is looking kinda, kinda nasty here. Here's the metal deposits on my, uh, on my drain bolt. I'll try to show you when I wipe that off just how thick it is. See all that metal? So, Thankfully for this magnetic plug, it catches all that. And what I want you to do is clean it up really, really good. 
Just use a few sides of your rag that are fresh each time. Pretty self-explanatory. Now your crush washer has a flat side and that's the side that you want to be on the bottom. Let me get you over here to where you can see the entire setup. What I've done is I've plumbed the uh, pump kit up to one of our quarts of the red line and I'm running some fresh diff fluid through to get all the contamination out um, while we have our drain plug out. After it gets done draining and after you run about a quarter or a half of a quart through to where it looks honey clear, um, we want to put our drain plug back in at 29 foot pounds. Be sure it's cleaned up at the threads. So here's a little behind the scenes of how fun it is to fill the system. It's gonna take you like 100 pumps and you have to switch cans after you, know, you get air running through. But just keep pumping this, be easy on the pump because they will break. You guys see that little bit running out the bottom there? That means we're full. We want to take our line out and torque our top fill bolt down to 29 foot-pounds. So that's it for the rear diff, guys. You're done. You want to wipe everything down, make sure that you don't have any leaks, and uh, take it for a spin. So next we're going to move to the transfer case, and I will start a new video that will be in the description. Thank <laughs> you.